What is up guys, welcome back to another video. On today's video, we got a little install going on. First, I wanna show you guys the new near wrap. Not done yet, I barely started yesterday. So, I'll show you guys once it's all done. Um, but this is like a, it's like a matte blue. I ordered a satin blue, but this is what I got. And, and um, if I wanted to return it, I had to pay for shipping. So I ended up keeping it. But yeah, it's like a, like a semi-gloss blue. In the dark, it looks really nice. As you can see. So this is the product that we're gonna be installing from UPR. And this is a Add a little pulley for the supercharger. So this is the add a little pulley that I'm gonna be installing. This is this is a billet aluminum pulley. As you can see, it's really nice. You can use it on a eight rib and a ten rib belt systems. So there's that, and then it comes with the bolts, the washer, and everything. So yeah, I really like the style of these pulleys. I think, uh, in my opinion, it looks really nice. Um, they also have a silver, silver one, but I think black looks a lot better. And let me show you guys underneath the hood. Uh, first, let me just remove this. So this is the pulley that we're going to be changing. As you can see, it's just an ugly steel pulley. And I'm going to order this other one, probably like an 80 millimeter if they have it and upgrade it too. But for now, I just got this one and I'm going to wait on this one because I got my crank pulley that I'm going to be installing. This is the crank pulley that I'm going to be installing. It's an eight, eight inch pulley. And Check out the difference side by side, stock versus upgraded pulley. So yeah, my plan is to upgrade all of them. I think it's gonna make the, the engine bay look really nice. And so, so let me go ahead and take the the belt off, and then we can take this pulley off, and I'll show you guys step by step on how to do it. It's really simple. It's gotta. Remove the belt and take this pulley off. So now we're gonna take this supercharger out of pulley off. I think it's a 14 millimeter. So here's a side by side comparison. So you can see the same diameter. Everything's the same, except this one looks a lot better. And they both seem to weigh about the same. So this one looks a lot better than this one. And supposedly these help to minimize belt slip with which is, it's a, it's a good thing because we're gonna upgrade our crank pulley pretty soon. And that's the reason why I'm doing this, it's just not for lugs. Um, a lot of people recommend these when you run dual pulleys. So it does come with its own washers and bolts. It came with this bolt, but I don't think this one's gonna work for my car. Yeah, this one's too small for my car. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna use the stock OEM bolt. If I 
it's perfect. But I do like the look of this little washer. So, oops. So I'm gonna try to find a bolt the same size as this one that fits on here. And maybe I can I can use this little washer. If not, I'm just gonna use this one. Uh, but I'm gonna polish it, make it look really nice first. After a little digging, I found this bolt and it looks perfect for this. So you can see it first. So you can see if it's perfect inside the spacer. Alright guys, check it out. We got the pulley installed. Let me turn on the LED. Check that out guys. Looks really nice. He's gonna clean the engine bay a little bit, but as you guys can see, it's always been clean, it's just that the car has been sitting. I don't know if you guys seen the video where I um, mentioned I was fixing the dash, so it's taking a little while, so it's been collecting dust. But I promise I'll do a full engine detail once I get the dash back and get it on the road. So check it out guys, looks really nice. I really love this. I really like how it's coming out. So um, I went ahead and moved the this radiator hose a little farther off from this pulley because I don't know if you can see, good thing I caught it on camera. It started to rub. The pulley started rubbing. The pulley started to rub on this hose, so that's a good thing I caught it. Um, so now we can just put the, the belt back on and then we'll see how it looks like. Alright guys, so the belt is back on. Let me show you guys how it looks like. As you can see it looks really, really nice. Can't wait to do this other one. But again, that's going to be after I upgrade my crank pulley because I still have the stock crank pulley. Really love the way it looks, honestly. And it's gonna look a lot better once I do the that pulley and then I'm gonna upgrade the tensioner it's gonna be a billet tensioner so yeah it's looking pretty good hope you guys enjoyed the video um, stay tuned I'm gonna be upgrading the crank pulley pretty soon so stay tuned to see how much power we make I'm gonna take the car to the dyno before and after the pulley so some pretty good videos coming out soon so stay tuned thank you guys for watching